All right, for all of you who have been following me with this build, it's my G4002 Grizzly lathe. Picked it up back in January, I'd say. Uh, started immediately doing a CNC conversion on it. Run a Mach 3 software. And first thing I did was gut all the original manual lathe components, the, the, the gear, gear case for threading, uh, the, the carriage assembly with a hand wheel and feed levers and etc. Replaced that, built my own carriage housing, mounted the x-axis servo motor in there. Uh, all the limit switches or proximity switches for the axis limits. Got both the z-axis limits, the one of the x-axis limits is buried down in here, we can't see that. But then the opposite one we can see sticking down out of the back. Um, remove the compound slide, traded that up for a uh, solid tool post mount, which I think was a good good improvement. There's a lot of play in that compound, so makes a nice rigid tool post. Got the uh, the ball screws are covered. Got, this is a Z-axis ball screw under here, protected by a nice stainless steel guard. The X-axis guard slides underneath the the carriage and is captive in there, so it can't come out. The Z-axis servo, and they're, they're, they both have uh, one-to-one -one belt drives, which is a, a metric timing timing belt. All the uh, the cabling runs through this conduit, which flexes as it as it moves back and forth. Let's everything keeps the cables you know chip free and dry and all that. Got the uh, spindle index pulse wheel. Uh, right now running one slot in it. I, I cut it for four, but apparently there's some discrepancies in Mach 3's uh, user manual that I have to work through. And of course I have guard <clears throat> guards to make yet. Uh, lease and motor, three phase motor upgraded from the original single phase. The original uh, electrical cabinet, I got it out, uh, put a VFD in there, cooling fan, and had to modify the cover with a cake fan to give myself some extra clearance. The electrical cabinet houses both the servo drives, the Ethernet smooth stepper and breakout board power supply, and then the big toroid power supply for the servo drives. Cheeky Dell PC powering the power and everything here. And it's got coolant. Got a coolant drain in the middle of the original pan, which uh, everything's sloped really well to it, drains pretty good. And that's, uh, that works really well. Makes a mess, of course, like you'd expect. Coolant tanks drained, uh, drains back into the tank. Jog button for gear changes or whatever else you might need. This button's the uh, bypass for limits. In case I hit one, I can actually drive the drive the axis off rather than having to disassemble anything. That's kind of it in a nutshell. It's come out pretty good so far. Uh, hoping to make some uh, parts here pretty soon. Thanks for watching.